Welcome to Friday with Friends. Friday with Friends is our opportunity to talk about the real estate market, answer any questions you may have, so that if you have any real estate needs, we'd love the opportunity to be your realtor of choice. And we have a very exciting topic today, something that we're getting lots of questions on um, because it's we've started to talk about it a little bit more on social media and with our buyers because right now with the market being so competitive, we like to give our buyers an edge up wherever we can. So here we're talking about the cash guarantee program. And we don't typically like to talk about loan programs because they change so much. And we know this video yeah. will last for forever. So the full disclaimer on the beginning <laughs> is check with your realtor. You can check back with us and see yes. if the program is still available. But as of right now, it is a program that is allowing so many of our buyers to be able to win offers when they didn't feel like they had a chance and to compete against other buyers that maybe qualify for this product but don't even know it's out there. Exactly. So let's talk a little bit about, first of all, the difference between a mortgage and a cash deal. And yeah. so let's start first with from the seller's perspective. So let's put ourselves in seller's shoes. And in this market right now, most of our sellers are receiving potentially multiple offers on their home. And so the perk of that for our sellers is that we get to be really nitpicky, get to look at all of the details of the offer. It doesn't just come down to price. It comes down to price, of course, is very important, but also the terms of the offer and the amount of risk that comes with that offer. And so let's say one offer is cash and one offer has a mortgage that's going to be a big piece that the seller is going to look at and evaluate. And the reason why there's a little bit of more, a little bit more risk with a mortgage is because first of all, things could change within that 60 day closing with the buyer's financial situation. They could lose their job. They could get a new job. They could be relocated. They could have something come up where um, their credit changes. Maybe they buy a car or they open up another credit card. Classic. Classic buyer move. <laughs> <laughs> but that's something that can definitely affect their credit and then therefore impact their ability to get a mortgage and therefore impact the ability to close. And now the seller's back at square one. Another piece of the puzzle that's important to think about is the appraisal. So anytime that there's a mortgage on the property or in the offer, an appraisal has to be done. So the bank knows that the house is worth the amount of money that they're financing. For example, if the offer's for 200,000 and the bank comes in and says, it's only worth 150. Based on other comparables. Based um, on other, yep. Comparable, comparable properties that have sold. We're not gonna finance you $200,000 when it's only worth 150. So now we have that $50,000, let's say, appraisal gap that needs to be covered one way or another. Um, many times the buyer will find that $50,000 somewhere in cash um, and bring that to closing, or the seller has to reduce the price by that amount, or we meet somewhere in the middle and a little bit of both. But that's a big risk because of the high prices that we're seeing on offers, um, that the appraisal is a really important piece that sellers are looking at when they're evaluating their offers. And so you have buyer's agents who are saying, my buyers are so well qualified, we are strong, They, I have taught them this is what they will be doing, their job is solid, all of these things to try to mitigate this risk. But at the end of the day, if you have a $400,000 buyer that's willing to pay cash versus a $400,000 buyer that has to get financing, it's just tough to be able to get this person to win no matter what you're doing when there's still that mortgage contingency on the table. Even yeah. the best of buyer's agents. Heck, we've even seen people go cash 390 and a, a seller is willing to take 10 grand less yeah. just for the fact that it is done and that there's no contingencies. Yep, and that's a really big risk. And there, we have been seeing lots of different things. Again, like that appraisal coverage that I talked about where the buyer agrees to bring the difference in cash to closing. There's lots of different things that we can do to if a seller is accepting a mortgage to ensure that that works out smoothly and that yes. there's not a hurdle 30 days down the line. But with cash and with this cash guarantee program, it's just something that puts the seller's mind at ease a little bit more. That's a great point. This is not to say mortgages are bad. It is yes. not at all. No. What this is, is to be able to say, if you're competing, this is your edge. So Definitely. let's get into it. So what is the cash guarantee program? So essentially, we have our banks who have been saying, this is a strong buyer. This buyer has cash. If the bank, you know, loan, loan officers can only control so much. If it doesn't appraise, it doesn't appraise. But even the loan officer is saying this person has cash. If it doesn't appraise, they are saying it is so strong. Well, finally, the banks are saying this buyer is so strong. I am willing to bet the bank's cash on it. 
So they are doing a cash guarantee to be able to say, hey, buyer, you are so strong. This is a pre-approval or this is a cash guarantee document that you can provide to the, to the seller as you're presenting it and you do not have to check off a mortgage contingency. You can check you off. Have to check off a mortgage. You can check <laughs> off cash even when you don't have four hundred grand in cash because yeah. the bank is so confident it will appraise. Yep, and that's really important because again, coming from a seller's perspective, our job is to reduce that risk as much as possible. And the risks and the hurdles that we're looking at when we're reviewing an offer are going to be those contingencies. Mm -hmm. So the least, uh, you know, the less contingencies, the better. And so if there's no mortgage contingency, um, because the bank is willing to take that on, because they're such strong buyers, that's a huge, you know, important piece and one less hurdle that the seller has to worry about. So then your cash, 400,000, and their cash at 400,000, now it comes down to terms. And that's a place where you're like, okay, great, we can talk, you're in the conversation. Yep. You're in you're the conversation, you're competitive, and that's what's great. Now, you might be saying, well, how do I know if I qualify? There's a bunch of different lenders that are doing this in the area. Some have different intricacies within the programs, but I'll give you some, just some things to be aware of. One, to make sure you know what it takes to qualify. Sometimes there's certain credit scores you need to qualify. Sometimes there's certain down payments that you need to, to um, qualify. And sometimes there's debt to, in, debt to income ratios that you need to keep. Nine times out of 10, you're actually probably going to hit those. You even don't even need 20% down payment. Now, let me explain what I mean by this because again, things could change, but let me explain what's happening right now today. If you wanna, if you have the cash for a 5% down payment, you can still qualify for this program. However, here's what you need. You do need to be able to put a 20% good faith deposit down to the bank, right? Because the bank's the one that is saying, hey, we're gonna, we, get, we give you this cash, we know you're confident with cash. You can do a 20% deposit, maybe from a magical angel called yeah. mom and dad, <laughs> maybe from a magical angel called a friend. Maybe you don't have one of those, that is fine. You are still awesome. I'm just explaining what could happen. <laughs> A 20% deposit that the bank holds. Here's why we're telling you it's worth it. One of our lenders does a cash guarantee where if you do this 20% as a good faith deposit, it is guaranteed sold, which means if for some reason you as the buyer back out, that 20% deposit goes to the bank, but the bank will buy the property from the seller still. Yeah. So it is 100% sold, and again, in a seller's mind, that's the peace of mind that they want. So you could even challenge to say that it's better than cash, right? Because a cash buyer could walk away. Yep. Now, and now of course, if they walked away, they would have a good deposit and all of that. But do you see how we're starting to think in terms of what does the seller need and how do we make sure that the seller is taken care of? And right. you can start to get creative. So you may be saying, okay, this cash guarantee program, it's not an option for me. That's fine. You can still compete with a mortgage in this market. Yep. But if you have your back up against the wall and you're like, I can do this, I am as good as cash you have to check out these programs. Yeah. And we have, as Mandy mentioned, lots of different lenders that are providing some type of um, you know, cash guarantee program. So reach out to us, we can make those connections yes. for you and see what the best fit, which one's gonna be the best fit for you because it is gonna be different for each person um, and what they're looking for, what the standards are, you know, what the restrictions are, things like that. And I don't know if I closed the loop. So let's say you do good faith deposit of 20% down and you own 20% as a good faith deposit, but you only wanna do 5% down at closing, that 20% gets returned. You just need that to show the bank how serious you are so that the bank feels confident in doing this this type cash of cash guarantee. guarantee. Yeah. Okay, so I want to make sure I close that, loop. that. No, I love that. And that's why it's, you know, where however we can get the 20% again from that angel that we talked about or from, you know, whatever it might be where you can get those funds pulled out into the deposit. But at the end of the day, if you don't want to put 20% down, you You're fine. Sorry. We were really excited. You're fine. You don't have to. <laughs> so you can go in cash with a 5% down payment that you actually purchase the house with as long as you have that extra cash just to have your back so that you can go through with this program. So 
That's the cash guarantee That's program. It. <laughs> That's it. If you have any questions, make sure you're talking to your realtor, you're talking to your loan officer. You can call us and we'd be more than happy to help guide you through this because if you are feeling like your back's up against the wall, make sure that you and your agent are getting nice and creative because that's what we've been able to do and win so many offers for our clients. Is it still hard out there? Heck yeah, but we're doing everything we possibly can to make sure we're supporting our clients and this is definitely an option that has proven to be very, very valuable. Again, definitely. things change, things change, but this is where we're at today. So yep. we hope you enjoyed today's episode of <laughs> Friday, Friday with, with Friends. <laughs> Friday with Friends is our opportunity to talk about the real estate market, answer any questions you may have so that if you have any real estate needs, we would love the opportunity to be your realtor of choice. Perfect. You can find us at friendonyourside.com, anywhere on social media. We're always a message away. Bye, guys. <laughs>